that also becomes a privacy issue. You know, we shouldn't be watched without our consent. That's my belief. That's my belief. And, uh, and, you know, I think that there's always a balance with safety, and that's absolutely important. But even if there, even if uh, public transit um, does have uh, surveillance, it should be disclosed, and the surveillance should be disclosed. Um, but yeah, so I think that that in terms of that, we need to really demand uh, um, another one of the things that I talk about is the United States GDPR, and what that means is so in Europe, Europe has a lot has much more privacy yeah. protections than we do here in the United States. So actually Google is held to a much higher standard. Um, they don't install, like companies are legally uh, not allowed to install these little tracking pixels and stuff. It's illegal in Europe. And as a result, people have a right to a lot more privacy than we do in the United States. And so I advocate for a 21st century GDPR. And I also think they need to uh, have the ability to own your data because a lot of tech corporations don't make money because they're selling anything. Um, they don't make money because they're operating like a normal business. They're making money because they're collecting a lot of data that you don't really have the opportunity to give permission. And so they just collect a whole bunch of free stuff. It's like, wouldn't it be weird if I just followed you around all day? And then just like took notes and then sold what I 